Hey, hey, Mr. Myas is here. Let me turn my music down here. Just chilling out tonight and getting ready here for this video, part two of Curve Sketching. So what we're gonna do in this video is we are going to uh, talk, I'm gonna talk about a curve sketching recipe, if you will, what's on the menu, curve sketching. So we're gonna look at a little recipe. How do you curve sketch? And then we're gonna do three examples. So let's take a look at these. All right, so the first thing is the recipe. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna follow these in order. You're gonna give the domain. You're gonna reduce f of x if you can. A lot of times you're gonna to need to factor to do that. You're gonna find the vertical asymptotes in any holes. You're gonna give the x and y intercepts. You're gonna find the end behavior. In this case, you're gonna look for any horizontal asymptotes. And then if you can, you're gonna check for symmetry. Uh, an important thing you might need to do is find a starting point. So if you don't have X and Y intercepts, you're going to want to find a starting point. And then you finally are going to want to graph this guy. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first one here. And we're going to graph uh, F of X equals X times X minus 1 times X plus 2 squared. All right. So let me shrink this down just a little bit so we can get everything in our picture. And what we're going to do first is going to find the domain. So this is a polynomial. So the polynomial has a domain of all real numbers. All right, so we have no vertical or horizontal asymptotes. Our y-intercept, so in order to find our y-intercept, we're going to plug in 0 for x. And when we plug in 0 for x, we're going to get 0. Um, we're going to put 0 in for x, and this 0 is going to make everything else 0, so it's just going to be 0, 0. Our x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So y is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, we're going to set this equal to 0. And we're going to set each of these equal to 0. And we're going to have these points. We're going to have 0, comma 0. Duh, that's the last one we had. We're going to have 0. I'm sorry. We're going to have uh, x minus 1 equals 0. It's going to give me x equals 1. So 1, comma 0. And x plus 2 squared equals 0 is going to give me negative 2, comma 0. And just so you can see my workout for one of these guys x plus 2 equals 0, so x equals negative 2. See, I'm going to make each of these set equal to 0. All right. Finally, my end behavior, I'm thinking the limit as x approaches infinity. And if I multiply all this guy out, let me just do this, x minus x plus 1, x plus 2 squared. If I go positive infinity, this is going to be a big positive number, a big positive number, and a big positive number. A very big positive number is going to be still big positive, so it's going to go out that way. And then if I did um, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of this, I'm going to have a big negative number and a big negative number times a big negative number is going to give me a big positive number. And this squared is going to make anything that's negative positive, so everything's going to be positive. So it's going to go out that way. It's going to go up like this, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at what these are. So what we're going to do is we're going to first, we're going to, deal with the x and y intercepts. So the x intercept right here, right here, right here. Okay. In pre-calculus, you might have learned that this 0, this x intercept, this 0 is an even 0. All right. It's called an even multiplicity. It means it's going to kind of bounce off this. So I know that I've got to go up this way. I'm going to go down to my intercept, and I've got to end up going up this way, down to my intercept. So what I'm going to do is go through these two, go up there, back up like that. All right? So that's going to be the sketch. It's going to have to be perfect. I don't actually know where these max and minimum values are, but we're just going to draw a sketch. All right, so there's our sketch of the first one. Let's take a look at the next guy. Okay. So now we got all kinds of stuff going on right here, right? So our domain, let's look. We've got x cannot be 0. x cannot be 1. x cannot be 3. And I get all of those from here, here, and here, right? Okay. Now I'm going to simplify. So I'm going to simplify. That x is going to get rid of one of those. One of these is going to get rid of one of those. Uh, two of those, going to get rid of one of those, and I'm going to end up with x minus 1 times x plus 3. Oh, wait. 
can't I can't cancel those out. Come on, guys, you gotta catch that. X plus three cubed over x times x minus three squared. Okay, so that's my final function that I'm gonna use to graph. So I need my vertical asymptotes. My vertical asymptotes are gonna be at x equals zero. I get that from here. And x equals three, and I get that from here. And I know that this one's gonna be an even and this is gonna be an odd based on the powers. Do I have any holes? Well, x minus one canceled out right there. So that's gonna be a hole at x equals one. Whoa. So where is that hole? Well, I know it's x equals one. Uh, let's see, if I plug one in here, I'm gonna get zero on the top, which is basically gonna make everything zero. So that's nice. One comma zero is gonna be a hole. And that's gonna be an odd hole. That's kind of a weird thing to say, <laughs> an odd hole, but it is. Okay, do we have any x-intercepts? So to determine if there's any x-intercepts, we're going to plug 0 in for x, right? So 0 in for x is going to give me negative 1 times 3 cubed over 0 times, wait a minute, that's, that's a y-intercept. An x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. Duh. So in this case, we're just going to take the tops here. And we're going to set that equal to 0. We can't set the bottom equal to 0, right? So this right here is never really going to give me a 0. Well, actually it is. Man, calm down, calm down. So let's take... Each of these set them equal to zero by themselves. Now, the problem here is that when I do this, this one already, I had a hole there, right? When x equals one, I had a hole. So this is not an x-intercept. The next one, x plus three cubed equals zero. I cube root both sides and I get x equals negative three. So I do have one x-intercept, and that's going to be at negative 3, comma, 0. I don't have any y-intercepts because I just, remember, I just figured that out. x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote, so I don't have any y-intercepts because I have to have x equals 0 to have a y-intercept, and that's not going to happen. I can't use it, right? So I have none. All right, so what are my end behavior? Limit as x approaches positive infinity. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Really what I got to look at is I got an x squared and an x in the bottom. I got an x squared and an x in the bottom, which is going to be about an x cubed. And this is going to be about an x to the fourth. So that's what I'm looking at. And notice here that uh, the top gets larger than the bottom quicker. So this is just going to give me a um, infinity, right? There's no there's no uh, horizontal asymptote. So these are going to both be positive, which is going to give me infinity. So that means it's going to go up that way. And then the limit as x approaches negative infinity, uh, it's, it, it's approximately a x over 4 over x cubed. Okay, approximately. And this is going to stay positive. This is going to be negative, and a positive divided by a negative is a negative infinity. So that means it's going to go down that way. All right, let's put all this stuff together now. So what I like to do is draw my vertical asymptotes first. So I've got a vertical asymptote there, and i got a vertical asymptote at 3. And then I'll draw my um, holes. So i got a hole at 1, 0. And I've got an x-intercept at negative 3, 0. Okay. And I know that it's got to go down this way, and it's got to go uh, up this way. I also know that uh, my x minus 3, this is an even asymptote. So in order to pass this, it's going to probably go like this and like this. Again, I'm not quite, you know, I don't have... Um, exact notion of what this is going to do, but I do know that I do know a few things. I know this has got an even, right? So it's got to go together. 
And I know this one's got to be odd. So if this one's going to go through, so again, I know this root has to go through it. So I know it's got to go through, which means this has got to go this way. I know this vertical asymptote x equals zero is an odd vertical asymptote. So I know that this has to go up and then this one has to go down. So they got to split. And then since this is going up this way, they've got to go together because this is an even vertical asymptote. So this is a little bit of a tricky one. When we get some calculus, it'll be a little bit easier because it'll tell us um, what some max and mins are and how um, each of these goes up and down, increases, decreases, going to help us out. Okay, but right now we just want to have a general idea of what's going on with the graph. Let's take a look at one last one here. Let's see if I can get to the next one. We've got an interesting one here with some square roots and stuff. Okay, so let's figure out this guy's domain. So the domain here is x cannot be equal to zero, right? Because we've got a denominator here, x can't be equal to zero. The holes um, doesn't look like anything simplifies out, so no holes. Y-intercept, well, x can't be zero. X can't be zero. I don't have a y-intercept. No y-intercept. Well, this is getting pretty, this is nice, going pretty quick. Vertical asymptote, well, x equals zero because the bottom can't be equal to zero. Um, Y-x-intercept, so the x-intercept, we're going to take the top here, and we're going to set that equal to zero, and we're going to get negative one. So we're going to get negative 1, 0. Okay, so far, so good. All right. Limit as x approaches positive infinity. So now, again, we're really, remember, we're looking at x and square root of x squared, which is really x, right? So let's do some um, sign um, analysis here. I put a positive number here. I put a really, really big positive number here. I get positive, positive. It's going to be positive infinity. Wait a minute, it's not going to be positive infinity. It's going to be 1. All right, so the square root of x squared, the square root of x squared is really like absolute value of x. So really what I'm looking at is I'm looking at, I'm looking at x over absolute value of x. That's really what I'm looking at. And this is going to go, wow, that was crazy. And this is going to go to 1. Because um, as I get large, this, these have the same power, right? And they're both positive. So they're increasing at the exact same rate. And this is x over x, which is going to be equal to 1. So I've got a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. But the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x over absolute value of x, that's going to be what? Negative 1. That's right. Because this bottom stays positive, but the top gets negative. So we're going to have a negative divided by a positive, which is a negative. So we got y equals negative 1. Whoa, this one's crazy. It has two horizontal asymptotes. All right, so what I'm going to do here, because I know I have a vertical asymptote here, and I know I have a horizontal asymptote going this way, and a vertical, and another horizontal asymptote going this way. I'm going to need to figure out, you know, what this does, because it could go like this and like this or like this like this like it's got a bunch of things so i need a starting point remember i said if you don't have a um if you don't have x and y intercepts well, i mean i do have this so that does help then i'm going to need to know some more well this one actually helps me out so x this x intercept helps me out like that okay and the vertical asymptote looks like it is um looks like it's an even asymptote but let's go ahead and take a starting point because i don't know if it's going to start underneath here or above there so let's go ahead and make x equal to one you get to choose whatever number you want i'm gonna choose one you gotta choose whatever you can choose the eight ten twenty five it doesn't matter one just seems easy so i'm gonna plug one in one plus one is two square root of one squared is one so that gives me two so I got a starting point of 1, 2, which is right there. And then I'm going to go up towards this vertical asymptote because I know it's an even asymptote. And I'm going to go down towards the horizontal. 
All right, so there you go, guys. There are three examples of the curved sketching recipe by finding each of these steps and then plotting them up there and finding a nice sketch to your curve. All right, we'll catch you soon.